having me here tonight. Um, I'm going to follow in my speech a little bit different direction than the, the Mitt Romney supporter. I'm going to be following Ronald Reagan's 11th commandment, which, which was to never speak ill of another Republican. Uh, so first of all, uh, my name is Cody Morgan. I was born and raised in Exeter, Maine, right down the road. Some of you may have been there before. Uh, <laughs> uh, my mom's here tonight. I, gotta, I have to really give her a lot of credit for, for turning me on to Ron Paul. I worked a summer job at a Boy Scout camp. I'm an Eagle Scout. And uh, I was working as a camp commissioner there. And so I was gone throughout the summer. And the presidential race had started. And I had missed out on candidates coming in, the early drama of the race. And I got home. And uh, well, on my 18th birthday, the first thing I did was I went down to register to vote. And my mom knew how I felt about politics. And she said, hey, well, it was just a debate in Iowa. And I watched it on TV. And there was this one guy. His name was Ron Paul. You might want to, you might want to check into him. I think you'd like him. And so I, that night, I went on the computer. and I did a couple of YouTube searches and watched some of the highlights. And from the highlights, I watched some videos that other supporters made. And from the videos that other supporters made, I joined some Facebook groups. And from there, I started a Youth for Ron Paul chapter at the University of Maine, where I go to school. And ever since that one day when I went all by myself out on the corner and was handing out information, which was one of the most humbling experiences of my whole life, I think more people came and talked to me out of sympathy than, than anything else. <laughs> But uh, after, that, after that day, I mean, I had three people come over to me and say, hey, I really like seeing you out here. I really like Ron Paul. And from that day on, I, have, I can proudly say that it's now the largest chapter in the state of Maine. Uh, and we've definitely uh, been doing a lot of things to get people activated and get people aware politically. But what I'm here to do is talk about why I support Ron Paul. Uh, I support Ron Paul for a lot of reasons. And I think first and foremost, it's because of his strict adherence to the Constitution. Uh, throughout his entire, he's been in Congress for about 30 years representing the, representing a district in Texas, and he, every single time he votes on legislation, it's based on the oath of office that he took, which was to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States. And he votes based on that oath that he took. If the legislation proposed is not strictly outlined in the Constitution, he votes against it. Even if it might be the greatest thing in the world, it's not, our federal government has no power in doing so. He's put forth legislation many times to do things that our Constitution allows for, but the big government, his big government colleagues in Washington, D.C. have time and again shot him down. And that's one of the things that I really like about him. He's a principled man. Being an Eagle Scout, I follow the Scout Oath of Mon every single day, and I try to do my good turn daily. And he's been doing the same thing by upholding his oath to office. When in the 1960s, to show some more of his um, character. In the 1960s, he was drafted during the Vietnam War era. And he had to make a tough choice. He could either stay home with his wife and two kids or go and serve his country. And he served his country. And he did so as a flight surgeon in the U.S. Air Force. And that's the kind of leader that I want. That's more than some of the other candidates can say. Um, he has a plan, as the wrong representative said, to cut a trillion dollars out of our budget in the first year and eliminate five the, uh, agencies at the federal level uh, that are all not in our Constitution. He wants to return that power back to the states where it belongs under the Tenth Amendment. Uh, and that's what he's going to continue to do as a leader. When legislation comes to his desk, he's going to op open up his Constitution. He's going to see if, it, if the power is given to the federal government. And if not, he's going to veto it. And that's what I respect about him. And I really, one of the things that really scares me, and I think we can all agree, is that our country is headed in a very bad direction. We're $15 trillion in debt, and it's growing every single day, and it doesn't seem like our representatives are doing anything about it. And Ron Paul is, is, is putting forth plans, and he's putting forth legislation, and he's creating this massive movement to get people aware of the things that are going on and to help stop it. And in his plan to restore America, and there's copies of there if any of you would like to read it, uh, he balances the budget in three years, which is, I don't even, when was the last time we had a budget? I don't remember. 2006. He's going to have one on his, on his first. He wants to have one in his first day in office, and he has put forth plans to do so. Um, but I'm afraid that if we keep if we keep electing the people, we, the status quo politicians, into office, that the country that we have now is going to be vastly different from the country that I get to inherit in 20 or 30 years when I get to take the reins and and lead our country for the next generation. And that's just a scary thought to me. It's not just that. My children won't have that sort of country, but that I won't. If we don't follow the principles that are in our Constitution, 
and the principles that make us Americans and the greatest country in the world. And for all these reasons, I support Ron Paul because he puts forth plans that address the realistic solutions that we need. He puts forth plans that follow the Constitution, the law of our land. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody for having me here. And I hope that when you um, are casting your vote for your presidential preference poll, you not only vote for the solutions we need now, but for the solutions that will protect my future. Thank you.